Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a great evening. My name is Jeffrey. I am a senior director in data services for a large commercial real estate company here in Houston, Texas. I just wanted to quickly share that the Alteryx user group comeback is scheduled for Wednesday in the Galleria. So far, it looks like a large turnout and I hope you can attend. I created these videos to start sharing what I've learned with Alteryx over the last eight years. And when I started working in Alteryx server management, I discovered this Alteryx server usage report as documented here by Corey on the Alteryx community. This report is an extract out of the Mongo database. It shows studio users and lists all their names. It shows their login history, it shows low activity users login times by day, runs by user, new users, users no longer using Alteryx, and tools by category. It's somewhat useful, but it's not really actionable, but it is a good place to start. You can get to this report by going to the Alteryx cloud and going to download an Alteryx server. From there, you'll see a download for the Alteryx server usage report. So you just download that, open it in Alteryx Designer, and you'll see it has two macros, a macro for the input with your connection to Mongo, and an output to a Tableau dashboard or a PDF report. The access is pretty straightforward, just depends on your role in the company and what you have access to. For me, I just had a firewall issue where I couldn't access the Mongo database from my desktop, but I can remote into a worker node and access the Mongo database from there. So I have to do all of my development using Alteryx Designer on an Alteryx worker, but it's pretty straightforward. I just put in the connection, the username and password, and then so I have my connection there. And for output, I put in a Tableau workbook right there. Now it is somewhat useful, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. So from there, I decided to change this output to a table in a SQL Server database. Now, this helped a little bit, gave me some more information, showed me how the data is constructed, and how it comes out of this macro, made it searchable, but it still wasn't really what I was looking for. So from there, I cracked this macro open here. So from here, you can see all that is is a bunch of connections to the Mongo database. And it has a lot of parsing in here because some of this information is stored as blobs. So some of these macros in here convert to the blobs. And there's a lot to it, but once you start digging around and figuring it out, it's not really that bad. So you can go to this website. And it shows you all the information about the Mongo DB schema and you can start digging around and finding what you're really looking for. For me, I wanted to see all users, all workflows that were executed, all workflows stored on the server, schedules, and collections. And then I wanted to make it easier to access this information. And eventually I started making actionable events off of all the information, but to start, it was just the opportunity to make things searchable. Try searching a schedule on the Alteryx gallery. And when you have a couple hundred schedules, good luck. It's not very easy. But me and my colleagues created quick search tools so you can just search any workflow and have a link directly to the schedule. It's very easy and straightforward. So I want to get into more details on all the tools we've built and how we've constructed this massive collection of data from Tableau, from Alteryx, from a SQL Server database, how we've tied it all together in lineage tools and have tons of actionable events out of it. But to start, I just wanted to show the macro and a little bit about what it is, what you can do with it, what information is stored in there. And in future videos, I'll go into more details and show you some of the work that we've done. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, please like and follow and stay tuned for more. Have a good evening.